Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on this episode, we're going to be talking about Lake Norman in North Carolina, and we're going to kind of be gearing this video towards the guys that are fishing the Big Bass Tour, uh, which this year in 2024, it is the 12th through the 14th, I believe. Uh, and uh, so, you know, it's pretty much the same uh, time period every single year that the Big Bass Tour goes there. Um, when I used to fish the Big Bass Tour, I actually hosted their, their show for a couple of years, way back in the day, right after I got out of college, and uh, I, I had a blast on Norman. Norman is a really, really cool fishery. Uh, it's got a ton of spots in it, but also has a lot of largemouth. And honestly, you can you can cash checks, you can cash in on those hourly prizes with both species. But obviously, a largemouth is more likely to be the grand prize to win you that grand prize of of that that boat that they're giving away. So, I just wanted to. I, I've been doing these these a uh, short little one or two minute uh, preview videos for. Um, for the Big Bass Tour, and I wanted to go ahead and just uh, do a long form video, kind of breaking down the lake for you guys that are out there fishing, whether it's 2024 or in the future, and uh, just kind of give you my two cents on fishing Lake Norman this time of year and more geared towards the Big Bass Tour too. Um, so <clears throat> the first thing I wanna say about Norman is that it is, um, it is very different from from the lower part of the lake all the way up to the the upper reaches you know just like every lake every lake is really uh it, it really uh, changes as far as like the contours and as far as the water clarities the type of bite that's going on and uh and so you know keep that in mind and really the way that norman sets up is that down lake you know the where they're launching from and and uh that that big area uh, down by the dam, that is going to be primarily clear water. Um, it's more finesse fishing and also throwing like uh, swim baits and things like that. It's more uh, visual oriented uh, type of a, of a bite. Uh, and you, you also run into a lot more spotted bass on the lower end of the lake. Spotted bass really dominate. And in recent years, it seems like the, the bite has changed a little bit. The dynamic has changed a little bit as far as the, the uh, spotted bass. It used to be that, um, you know, spots you would be primarily just catching them around docks, just like the largemouth. And nowadays, especially with with the introduction of forward-facing sonar, it seems like um, a lot of people are catching them offshore primarily. So really, just going out there and chasing those those uh, both largemouth and spots offshore. So has changed quite a bit, but if that's not your bag, if that's not the thing that you like to do is, is go offshore, use forward facing sonar and, and more or less structure fish out there. Um, there's, there's still plenty of great opportunities for like shallow fishing, especially this time period. I mean, this time period is actually opening uh, up a lot of possibilities for shallow fishing, you know, and targeting big fish shallow because the fish are starting to go up to spawn. In fact, probably one of the best spawning weekends uh, of the year that they're picking. I think that it's gonna hit it just right on, uh, you know, it's gonna hit the nail on the head as far as uh, a spawning time period. So uh, even on the main lake, I would I would really be focusing on, on spawning fish, you know, uh, or at least fish that are staging, getting ready to spawn. So docks are gonna play a big role on the, on the bottom end. Uh, just as much, if not more so than, than the offshore bite, you know, I'm now that I'm just thinking about all this and, uh, and so, you know, you can, you can go up shallow, but you have to be a little bit more finessey, um, and you have to be a little bit more, uh, cognizant of casting a shadow over fish and the fact that the, the water is so much clearer on the low end. Uh, so even if you're fishing shallow, you have to be, you know, a little bit more finessey. But um, I fished plenty up on the, the upper end of the lake, you know, up, up the rivers and, and uh, the creeks. And there's a ton of great largemouth opportunities on, on Norman um, where you can just go fish docks. You can fish dirtier water where those fish are, are going to be less line shy. They're probably going to be a little less pressured. And, uh, and you can catch a lot of big fish up there. In fact, uh, when I, the first year that I was hosting the Big Bass Tour show... Um, I think Norman was the very first event that we went to and uh, I ended up, I was, I was working this, the back of this pocket and I was throwing a swim jig 
and I had uh, one that was like at least six pounds eat my swim jig only about 20 foot from the boat. We both kind of looked at each other. I set the hook and the rod I was using just wasn't, didn't have enough backbone and it just ended up, you know, getting real spongy and it just pulled out of his, her mouth. And that would have been the fish to win me the boat. My very first day filming with those guys, I almost won the boat. Uh, but um, it, it, that's just, that story is just to illustrate that, that you can go up uh, in any of the creeks, the the slightly stained water, and you can do a variety of things. Um, and uh, and we're gonna go through all of the different baits that I like to use this time of year that cover both, you know, primarily largemouth fishing up the lake, and then all the other stuff that you're gonna be doing down lake. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, let's get into the 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 baits that I like to use on Norman uh, that I recommend you use. And the very first one is a very, very uh, classic bait in, um, in North Carolina specifically. Uh, North Carolina lakes, including Norman, uh, they're known for skipping docks with jigs, okay? This jig right here, 3 8 ounce uh, Arky style head, you know, this is a great bait that has traditionally caught a lot of big fish on North Carolina lakes. And this time of year, the fish are really setting up underneath those docks, whether they're they're waiting to stage, you know, the big pre-spawn females are waiting to stage at the ends of the docks, or they're actually on the bed, uh, you know, underneath the walkways, a jig is a really good one. And I'm going to be usually pairing this with some type of chunk trailer, uh, and the reason I like a chunk trailer is because uh, as opposed to like a trailer that has a lot of action to it, a chunk trailer is going to allow this to skip a little bit better because it has, it has a lot of surface area, but not a lot of appendages to catch the water. But it's also going to uh, do a really good job at kind of gliding on the fall. And I think that that is really super important. Um, uh, you know, especially when you're skipping docks uh, on Norman. So uh, I pair this with a chunk trailer, something in the green pumpkin, you know, maybe green pumpkin with a little bit of orange because there's a lot of like a clay on that lake. Uh, you know, any anything in that that kind of realm will, will catch fish pretty well on a jig. But a jig is going to be a really good one, especially up the lake where you're fishing, the stained water, that sort of thing. That, that would be one of my primary um, baits to, to fish and you can swim it back to the boat and so you can get the best of both worlds you could skip underneath the docks underneath the walkways and then swim it back after you're done so um, the, the jig is my first one all right so the next bait that really this is my my go-to presentation anytime the fish are up spawning all over the country um, and that is a wacky rig you know, a wacky rig stick bait like this right here, um, you know, this is the, it, it has the Hayabusa um, 201 on it. Uh, that This is going to be a really, really good uh, presentation on Norman all over the lake. You know, from the bottom end all the way up to the muddy water, you know, skipping in underneath docks, skipping around um, any type of isolated cover where you think the fish are spawning. You know, it can it can catch pre-spawn, it can catch post-spawn, it can catch spawning bass, and it's just it's just the best. If if they're near the bank, you know, in that spawning mood, a wacky rig is going to be a really critical one overall all around the lake. Okay, so um, I'm, usually I'm using this with like eight, 10, maybe 12 pound test if I'm getting into the dirtier water and I'm okay with, um, you know, using a little bit heavier line. But generally, 10 pound test is kind of my go-to for the Wacky Rig on Norman. So Wacky Rig is a big one. Uh, if I was to give you a, a suggestion as far as color, um, uh, Z-Man makes one called Game Changer that is super good. Uh, that color that I just showed you is green pumpkin goby. That's a good one. Watermelon is going to be good. Anything that has that light green coloration. But there's a, a lot of companies make uh, baby bass. Um, that's similar to the game changer color from Z-Man. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, like those are those are uh, killer colors. Anything that has that green tint to it um, is going to be a really good solid choice 
on Norman. That's what I've had success with in the past. And it really has to relate to the, the watercolor, the, the tint that that water has on Norman. All right, so the very next bait that we need to talk about is one that is primarily um, the one I reach for on the, the southern end of the lake. So the, the deeper, clearer water. Uh, this is one that I fish around docks almost exclusively, and that is a Ned Rig. Okay, Ned Rig uh, is one of my absolute favorite baits for the southern end of, of Norman, even for big fish. Like, big fish will eat a Ned Rig like this. You know, you just have to get it in front of them. In fact, sometimes they eat it better than, than some of the other bigger baits. Um, it, you know, it, again, it, you just have to cast in front of a big fish and they'll probably eat it. I've caught upwards of nine pounders with this, uh, this, this combination right here. But anyways, the Ned Rig is a really good one. It has that nice glide to it as it falls. You can skip it underneath docks. Um, you use light line with it, like eight pound test. And uh, I just uh, skip it around the same areas I would throw a wacky rig, you know, just wherever the fish are staging underneath docks or, or actual spawning um, underneath the walkways. That's what I'm gonna be using the Ned Rig, but it's just another way to approach them, especially if there's a lot of pressure, which you're gonna see a lot of pressure fishing the Big Bass Tour. There's a lot of boats out there, uh, but the Ned Rig is just going to be a huge numbers bait but it also gives you those great opportunities at catching bigger ones too. So have a Ned Rig tied on. This is the color that I really just lean on every time I go to Norman. That This is called the New Money color from, from Z-Man. Um, and uh, it, it just works. It just looks perfect in that watercolor. You got that nice kind of iridescent green color on Norman. And this matches you know that color pretty well. So Ned Rig was is the next one. Um, after that, you know, if you're if you're going out and you're trying to target the fish, uh, you know, offshore uh, with forward facing sonar, obviously uh, 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 Ned Meeky is what we call it on the Z-Man team. But Demeeky rig, uh, moping, whatever you want to call it, that's going to be a good presentation as well because a lot of these fish are really hyper-focused on those, those um, pelagic bait fish out on, you know, long tapering points, out just in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you know, wherever you can find those fish, they're probably going to uh, be very susceptible to biting a Demiki. Now, this is something I really haven't done on that lake, but I know for a fact that this is a bite that is definitely going to be a player while you guys are there fishing the big bass tour um, be just because the way that those fish set up on on Norman there's so many fish that are roaming offshore as many as there are on the docks there's 10 times as much just roaming around out offshore in deeper water chasing chasing you know those pelagic bait fish like shad I've even heard that there's some uh, blueback herring in there but I don't know um, so that's the, that's one that you definitely want to use again, primarily on the Southern end of the lake, um, it, you know, in the clear water, that's kind of where you want, it. but really you can, you can fish it anywhere, anywhere you've got fish offshore schooling on bait fish that you can see on forward facing sonar. I mean, a, a jig head and minnow bait is, is definitely, uh, something that's, that's playing, uh, huge roles in tournament fishing in general. The last bait is really a, it's a little bit of a gamble, but in a big bass tour uh, format where you're just looking for big bites, a swim bait, especially on Norman, is a really, really good choice. Um, this one right here is actually a pretty unique uh, swim bait. It's a wedge tail style swim bait, kind of like a, a old Huddleston. Um, and it's got this line through single hook design that it comes, it comes through the top. So you can throw it around a lot of cover. You can throw it through brush and things like that. It's not gonna snag nearly as much as like a treble hooked, uh, belly uh, hooked uh, bait. Um, but this is a really good one. It's actually, it's called the Mulletron LT from Z-Man and it's one that is actually designed for saltwater. It's designed in the shape of a mullet, but I've been having a lot of fun fishing this bait four bass and it has such a good action and it's exact type of action that I'd, I'd want to see on, on Norman. But, um, I'm not just trying to sell you on this one bait, just swim baits in general, you know, the six, seven inch swim baits, 
are really, really popular on, on Norman and they get bit on that lake and they attract bigger bites. So if you really want to dedicate yourself to one thing with the highest probability of catching the largest fish in the lake, it's probably going to have to be a swim bait. I don't like to throw a swim baits all that much in tournaments, uh, five fish limit tournaments, but just because they're not, um, high, you know, quantity presentations or quality presentations and, and, you know, you need a five fish limit, um, to, to really compete. But in this format, going for big fish, swim baits can, can do wonders for you. So I would highly suggest picking a handful of those, those swim baits that, that are real popular out there that are in the like six or seven inch range, um, and cast those around the docks, around lay downs, uh, around all kinds of, of uh, different things that the fish may be staging around or spawning around. And I bet you're going to have a really good opportunity at a giant fish. So anyways, guys, those are just some suggestions for fishing Lake Norman this time of year for the Big Bass Tour. Um, and that's just from my experiences overall on that lake. It's a really fun lake and it's a really fun format to fish. And I hope everybody out there, whether you're fishing the Big Bass Tour or not, has a lot of fun on, on Lake Norman. Let me know how you do with these tips uh, in the comment section below. Or if you have any questions, of course, drop a comment. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to try to do more of these videos for uh, the other Big Bass Tour events of the year. And I'm going to see you guys out on the water. Trust the process.